you have an exercise called creating new files underline to start this file you can get your file manager or file explorer window or you can click your shortcut to get right to your M drive so here's your file explorer window you need to make a new folder on your M drive called creating new files so we're in our M drive here click the new folder type creating new files and you can put your name at the end of this so I'll just type your name press your enter key we now have this made I'm going to double click on it right now this folder is empty we don't have any files in it so I'm just going to move it over here pretend that this is my right monitor now over here I'm going to start a new blank file and I'm going to type the first sentence the underline button can be found on the home tab in the font group so we need to underline this word just place the cursor on the word and press the U for underline the shortcut key is control U will also put an underline so if you had the cursor here and just press control U that is also going to put an underline on there use whichever one you like now some of these files you will need to go come into this drop down to find a double underline a thick underline dotted underline dashed underline dot dash underline and so on but there's a few like one you need to put a double wave and you can see it's not here when you need to do that you need to go to the more underlines and you need to come here and there's a few alternate styles in here like a thick wave and a double wave so I will click that just to show it to you you have to scroll in to see it a little better but that's the double wave so you need to go to the drop down and sometimes you need to go to this dialog box if you want to change the underlying color you can come into this box here now after you type the sentence you need to press enter and then I would like the file name and your name underneath here and the trick that we used was we set this up to help help us do this quickly by clicking file options proofing autocorrect and here in this replace box I'm going to put my initials and H and here I'm going to put the file name CNF stands for creating new files this exercise is for underlines 01 not 01 01 I know sometimes I say 01 but I mean 01 and then I type my name I'm going to add this so this little feature all these words that are misspelled quite often word will take a wrong spelling and replace it with the correct spelling but we're using this little trick just to be able to type our initials and get something longer so I'm going to add this say OK OK and now here if I type NH as soon as I press the space bar it will put that in for me and now you will save this file file save as browse hit your M we want to go into creating new files you can see that we've got it in the path bar in this folder that's sitting on the M Drive I'm going to click into the file name and this one here is now unfortunately I can't do NH here and have it fill it in I have to type it out so this is 01 I don't need my name on here so I'm going to click Save and I want you to have a look after I do that here in the creating new files folder that's showing in our file explorer window and there it is so 
that reassures you that for the next 12 files you should see each file pop in the minute that you save it. Now when you get to the second file, so I can close this one, file, close, get a new blank document, type my second sentence, which I won't bore you with here. This is my second sentence for my second file. I press enter, I type NH, now you of course will type your initials, and press the space bar. Now I do need to come back here and just change this number to number two before I go ahead and do my save into my M drive, into my creating new files, and then uh, it doesn't really matter whether you have uppercase there. Creating new files, underline, 02, save. You'll see it pop up in the File Explorer box as soon as I press Save. And there it is. And they will all come in as you go.